a while so I can do it. <laughs> Yo, good morning. Hey, y'all. Um, you know, this is why I say stuff like, you know, when, you, when you're in a, uh, uh, an environment that's extremely toxic and it's extremely hypocritical and you present yourself to be one way um, and you really know deep down inside that that ain't really who you are, be sure your sins will find you out. Yo, no lie can live forever, and that's with nobody. And what's done in the dark is going to come to the light. My grandma mom always told me that. And that's what that's the situation Matt Lauer finds himself in right now. A lot of y'all don't like what's happening to him, but I love it. Um, because he gave the persona that he was so real respected. However, he is a freak. That, in my opinion, according to this book that Rowan um, Farrell has done, that people are uh, very upset with him about, and actually even sent Israeli soldiers, pretty much, or Gestapo, that stop him from, uh, and try to intimidate him, uh, from the likes of Harvey Weinstein and all these freaks up in here who have decided to um, take advantage of people, and use their power and their prestige to pretty much, um, you know, uh, take advantage of people. This right here is, is crazy. Let me just share this with you. Disgraced Matt Lauer had another affair with a mystery, well-respected NBC star who signed a non-disclosure agreement when she left the network. You know, that's what they always make you do. So you kind of wonder who that woman was, but you know there was a few of them. Um, it's, she hasn't been identified, but I'm sure in this book it's going to come out. Um, in battle, today star uh, anchor Matt Lauer is said to have had an affair with a well-respected broadcaster from NBC. The woman who has not been identified signed a non-disclosure agreement with NBC when she left the company, page six reports. In a TV source familiar with the relationship, Matt's, Matt had influence over everyone's career. One word and your career will be sunk. Kind of like what Donald Trump is doing to people right now. Okay, these, these extreme narcissists, the people who uh, are just uh, drunk with power, when you put them in them type of positions, that's why you have to watch people that are in those kind of leadership positions, how they handle it. Because that's the most important thing because power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. I know there was a clear imbalance of power in this woman's relationship with Matt. The relationship has been pegged as showing a clear imbalance of power. Ronan Farrell's controversial catch and kill shares a similar claim that Matt Lauer harassed a fellow on-air personality, but it's not clear if it's the same woman. The employee was forced to sign a strict non-disclosure agreement after leaving the network in 2012. Farrell claimed that the former NBC broadcaster claimed that Lauer and another NBC executive propositioned her and made lewd comments directed towards her. I was like meat on the hook. I would walk into the work with a knot in my stomach. I would come home and cry, the woman said. The woman claims that she was punished for refusing advances and received fewer assignments as a result. She added, my career took a sharp nosedive. While the woman did not file a report with HR, she did report the incident to her colleague. When she signed the NDA, the woman relinquished her ability to sue or make any disparaging comments about the company. Lauer has vehemently, of course, denied. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, I mean, this this is just insane. Matt Lauer it, it was. Uh, all these things and all these accusations that have been leveled against this man are not lies. 
I don't believe you have a chain of lies that stretch that far because I believe that where there's smoke, there's fire. And according to the people over at NBC, um, Matt Lauer was a tyrant. He was a tyrant. And, I mean, it, and, and, and I don't think a lot of people want to really talk about that. You know, that's why they slowly moving on this uh, Harvey Weinstein stuff, yet Bill Cosby sitting up in jail. And it's, it's, it's really difficult for me to fathom some of this injustice because when you sit here and just think about uh, how long it's taken, but how long it's taken for them to make a move, you already know what, what, what time it is. At least I do. And so for those of y'all, I don't know, if, do y'all believe this story? Do you believe that all these women willingly uh, wanted to have sleep with Matt Lauer? Or do you think that he took his power as a narcissistic um, maniac that was in pretty much control, you know, um, the, the, the newsroom? What do you think? You think all the women he got is because they wanted to be with him? Or do you think that he used his power to manipulate them? Ugh, just disgusting. All right. I'm going I'm to go. You just like the video, share the video, and I'll see you in the next one.